friends. I thought I'd do a little handwriting lesson before the weekend. Um, so I've written the alphabet out, I've popped it on my piano, because it's quite long. Before I do that, I'll show you a bit some lovely pictures of my family on the piano. This is a funny one. This is when Alice was a baby, Rachel was a toddler, and look, Alice has put her lunch on her head. She's all grown up now. Okay, right. So let's have a look. Can you see that? Can you see? Okay, so let's see. Remember, we're not saying it hard or loud, soft, soft sounds. Ready? Ah. Uh -huh. B. It's very soft. B. No, B. Can you see? G. Feel that in your throat. G. 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 Next sound is. Feel it on your breath. J. We're going to be looking at k kicking k today. Makes the same sound as curly k, but we write it differently. K. Mmm. 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 Oh, going to be writing all oh today. Bed strip. Oh, pop it, <laughs> pop it back up. An alphabet strip for your house. You can maybe put it on the wall or you could put it somewhere in your room on a shelf. I'll leave my alphabet strip on my piano. Right, let's get going. Just move my chair over. Okay. Well, I could, wasn't very good at finding things around the house for the letters we're writing today. I did manage to find an orange for all, so I drew some pictures so you could have a go at drawing some pictures today. So we're going to be writing the uh, the uh sound and I've drawn an insect and of course you know an insect has only got six legs, a spider has got eight. An igloo which is made from ice and snow and the word in, in. Okay, let's have a look. Kicking ki. We've got a king. Here's his crown. A kit cat. Remember, we went to Galonies and lots of people had a kit cat. I didn't have a kit cat in my house. And a kitten. Meow. Just like Haggis, Lisa's little kitten cat. The page. There we've got all. We're going to be writing our all sound. We have an orange, an octopus, and he's got eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the month of October. The last one we're going to be writing today, whoops, is a qu and we've got a queen, she's got curly hair, a quilt for your bed, and let's be very quick. Now you'll notice that the qu always has a little uh beside it. The qu is a bit nervous and he's always quaking and quivering. So his friend uh, who's very understanding, said, don't worry qu, I'll be with you in words and I'll be there to make you feel calm and I'll be understanding. So qu always comes with a uh when he's in a word. So we've got queen, two is together, say e, queen, quilt, and quick. And always qu has his little friend a uh to help him. That's just a top tip to remember that. Back to if. Right, let's go. Let's warm up those fingers. Are you ready? Clouds in the sky. 
clouds in the sky, clouds in the sky, and then comes the raindrops. The raindrops, come on, raindrop, wiggle your fingers, warm your fingers. And then the sun bursting, the sun, the sun is shining. One more. When there are clouds and rain and sunshine, it makes a rainbow, a rainbow, a rainbow, a rainbow. Okay, good. Right, so let's have a look. First one we'll go have a go at, magic fingers in the air, it's kicking kick. So we go top to bottom, reverse up halfway. Now this is tricky, make a little bow and then a little kick. Do it again, top to bottom, reverse up, a little bow, a little kick. So you. So it's a top to bottom, like oh and tip and bend the hip. You ready? Can you see that? Top to bottom, back up the same line, a little bow and a little kick. Well done. The next sound we're going to do, okay. the next sound is an e, uh, easy, it's just a small letter, middle side letter, down, round, and a gentle press, don't do a big scribbly ball, it just needs down, round, and a gentle dot. Can you see? Are you looking? It's a middle size letter. A gentle dot. Kicking kit is much taller. Eh, it's just a middle side letter. The next one we're going to try is our O. Oh, o oh for orange, O oh for octopus, O oh for October. Here it is. It's on, it goes around, so it's with an A and a D and a G goes around, all the way around like a circle and back to the beginning. Okay, try that one in the air. We go around, up to the beginning. Well done. And the last one we're going to try is our little quivering, quaking qu, who needs his up beside him all the time in words. Now qu starts like an A. We do it in the air. We go around like an A, up. But it's a descender, it comes down below the line and a kick. Again, around like an A, down below the line, descending and a kick. So look, can you see? Round like an A, just like an A, friends. Down, through the line, down, 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 kick. The descender. Oh, let's put a little up beside because he's, he likes to have his up beside him. Oh, yes. Okay. So you can have a go at that. Again, don't worry. It's not perfect. Just have a try, friends. And before we finish, let's do a sentence. I've got my openers. I've got yesterday or this morning, today, or at 10 o'clock. Okay? So I think I'm going to choose at 10 o'clock to start. So at 10 o'clock, just a silly sentence, bit of fun. So, oops, at 10 o'clock, okay, here we go. The king and queen, there's the a, uh, helping the qu, had a Kit Kat in an igloo. And I've got an exclamation mark, so that's quite funny, isn't it? Imagine a king and a queen having a Kit Kat in an igloo. You could change it, you could say, today, the king and queen had a kit cat in an igloo. You could have yesterday the king
king and queen had a Kit Kat to the Lake Blue. This morning, the king and queen had a Kit Kat to the Lake Blue. Or you might make up your own opener. Remember your finger spaces between your words, my friends. And let's try an exclamation mark if you're trying to do a sentence today. Okay, good luck, my friends. See you later for music time. Bye.